Greetings. I hope you enjoy your ride today. How many people will be playing? Oh, so there's only one of you. That's fine. There's only one of me, too. Is this your first time? Well then, you won't be needing any more new instructions. It must be nice to know it all before you've even begun. Now I will ask you... Very good. Remember to be all you can be. Enjoy the ride. See you at the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack the Ride is sponsored by the Midwest Rap Star Coalition. Music ain't worth getting shot over, bitch. And now, please welcome the original guru of trivia, Nate Shapiro! Woo! All right, so you're going to sing a little song for us, huh? Well, let me know when you're all warmed up, maestro. My tomato stand's ready. <laughs> all right, here we go. Watch me for the changes and try to keep up. Hey, Buzz. I thank you very much, and here is your category. Musicians like bad girls. Okay, now, since this, uh, this entire episode is about music, I thought I might share some of my very own music with you. This is a little something I call countdown music number five. So, here we go. You remember the Donna Reed show? If so, you must be ancient, but anyway. What could TV good girl Donna Reed have done on her show to demonstrate her musical ability? The bassoon is so reedy it has two reeds. Of course, the only problem is that Donna blowing two reeds at the same time might be a bit too saucy for Nick at night. Buzz it in. Okay, this one's gonna be worth some coin. All right, here's your category. A hero more worthless than Robin. A one, two, three, and... Hey, you know that famous quote that... Whoa, wait a second. Okay, there we go. Uh, like I was saying, you know that famous quote that starts, Music has charms that soothe the savage something or other? Well, anyway. If a superhero called Music Man had all the powers of music described in the... The quote goes, Music has charms to soothe a savage breast, not beast, to soften rocks or bend a knotted oak. And you know, as long as we're speaking of savage breasts, you know, watch out. I had a run-in with one of those and it nearly took my eye out. Okay, what's... Hey, nice going, Big Spender. Here's what we're doing. The measure of my love. Okay. We're talking about music, we're talking about love, and we're talking... What the f... Nate, did your Casio batteries run this out? This is ridiculous. I just put them in. That's too bad, and, and I know we don't have six C-sized batteries in the studio. Uh, and, and, and how, how did you know what kind of batteries this takes? Cute question. Lame, Helen. Totally lame. Okay, so you're a bit obsessed. You've written 32 Uh, the number 16 is bigger than the number 8, but of course that means you can cram more 16th notes into a measure because they're half as long. So after 32 love notes, perhaps your friend will send you a letter. Maybe even a special one called the cease and desist order. Freak. Time that buzzer to... You know what? I think you'll actually be pleased about this. It is time to boogie down with some particularly funky trivia. It's time for the diss or dat. And this diss or dat questions category is... I saw the groupie first. I'm telling mom. Now, I'm going to read out the names of seven musical groups. And for each one, I want you to tell me if the members of the band are blood relatives or not. Cash in for each one you get right, but you lose out for each one you get wrong or that you don't get to. All right, you can have 30 seconds to nail all seven. Get your fingers on those numbers. Here we go. The Baby, you bad. There you is, and here we go. 
talk to me. Hey, pretty sweet. All right, check it out. I got a bad case of the aquamarines. Oh, man, you know, this next question is about the blues, and I had this really cool riff worked out that I was going to play before my keyboard died. But, um, well, maybe I can just hum it for you. It was like, bam, bam, ba dum, bam, ba, ba da, ba, ba. And then there's like this really cool organ. Wee, wee, wee. Ow! Who threw that? Not funny. Not funny. I, I am the only one down here who gives two hoots about art. Okay? All right, let's go. Hey, which of these lines is not the blues? I sure ain't got no money. My baby done me wrong. I'm coping the same way daddy done or fate dealt me a mean hand. Dunn's not blue. It's a brownish shade of gray. So you're right. Well, let me tell you something. If you got the Dunn's, then I don't think even polka music will cheer you up. Slap the buzzer and give me a value. Gotcha. Okay, coming up. Sign of the yearbook. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Given his actual first name, how do the artist formerly known as Prince's classmates probably refer to him? You know, it turns out that the artist's given name is Prince Rogers Nelson. Yeah, he used to sign his friend's yearbooks. You are too cool. Will you be my friend forever? Okay, that's what it's worth, and here's what it's called. It took Americans to invent the jam session. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Who of the following could have jammed together? Beethoven and Jimi Hendrix, Wagner and Duke Ellington, Mozart and Spike Jones, or Chuck... Let's see. They were both alive from 1840 to 1864, so yeah, they could have whooped it up together. Actually, I think they did do a piece together. Swanee Lake? Okay, I'm... Fished in a big one. All right, the category is... Do, re, mi, fa, su, la, tiro. Okay, this is a fill in the blank, so pay attention and get ready to type. So you know how the white keys on a piano all have letters that signify the notes, right? Tell me which of these band's names can be spelled from the letters assigned to musical notes. Go for it, type... Abba! Man, that sure brings back memories. Great show, guys! Fernando totally rocked tonight! Thank you, Nate! Yeah, thanks, Nate! Why are you still here, you stupid American pig? Yeah, I thought we got rid of you in Amsterdam! Hey, guys, what's the problem? I'll show you problem, you snacking groobin! <laughs> How do you like that? Big <laughs> boy! Come on, Bjorn, time for the encore! Hey, hey guys! Do water a little! Oh, man. Those guys were so cool. Buzzing for the time for a little roadkill. All right, you know what to do. Buzz in on the item that connects the pairs. Don't space out on the correct answers if you want the bonus moolah. All right, you ready? Let's punch it. Second largest ocean and NHL division. What do these two things have in common? What do all the correct answers have in common? Are they 
Okay, get your bearings, the game continues. Okay, hit Thank you, and the category is... The softer side of He-Man. Okay, put your finger on your buzzer and get ready, here we go. If He-Man and the Masters of the Universe were joined by the Master of the Pan Flute, what action figure could you buy? Marzon, Shazam, Zamfir, or Qatar? That's it, you got it. Well, if there can be such a thing as a world-renowned master of the pan flute, Zamfir is it. You mock me, Ingrid? Zamfir, hey, what's up? How you doing? Ow, jerk. That will teach you to mock the master of the pan flute, swine. Yeah, what is, what is his problem? Now, there is a guy who needs a serious lesson in cool from ABBA. Hey, buzz in to select the Okay, that'll be our value, and the category is... My, what large teeth you have. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Say you receive an invitation to an Osmond family wedding. Because they're Mormons, which of the following ceremonies might you see? The marriage of... In fact, according to Mormon doctrine, you can conduct marriage ceremonies of dead ancestors by proxy. Hi there. Welcome. Can I escort you to your seat? Are you here for the dead groom or the dead bride? Talk to me. Get... Hey, sweet. Okay, here's what we're doing. Cool! Flying cows! Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. If the movie Twister had featured the original Twister, who would you have seen flying into the winter? Come on, baby! One of Chubby Checker's biggest hits is the twist, but it's not about tornadoes. Of course, you know, Chuck Berry's mind dingling isn't about bells. Buzz it in, baby. Time for the attack. Whatever you do, don't forget this clue. The place for rock and roll. Okay, let's see you roll on. Rock on this. For seven! Of course, that only means you kicked your own ass. Playing solitaire on the computer is fun, right? Especially when 
when you don't know whose you are. But we're so proud our seeds were intermingled. And it really helps to have the extra car. Can I have an advance in my allowance? Ask your father. Which one? <laughs> I love you, moms and dads. Aww. Make sure your parents sign a permission slip. With four parents, I'll need a bigger slip. <laughs> Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. Good night, honey. With a swap a ruse. The swap a ruse. With mom and dad and dad and mom, there's no way we can. Hey, that turned out pretty well. Good morning. Thank you for selecting You Don't Know Jack as your morning source for news and entertainment. It's never too early to hear a good fart joke. So, how many of you are there? One player? Good. Competition only slows down the game. Is this your first time on the... Oh, I'm sorry I didn't recognize you right away. My apologies. Now I will ask you to type in your name. Go ahead. Very good. I need to remind you that your buzzer is the letter B. And now, it's time for the best part of the ride. Remember, you're always getting closer to the bottom. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. This episode of You Don't Know Jack, The Ride, is brought to you by Splat Lunch Meat. Incredible lips, anuses, and teeth for over 35 years. And now, please welcome your host, Nate Shapiro. Woo! Welcome to the game. Listen, don't worry about being chicken, because I like them tender. I like my trivia like I like my meat. Well done. Don't disappoint me. Okay, that's what it's worth, and here's what it's called. How about some nice blue meat? So we all know pork is known as the other white meat, right? Which of these could be known as the other red meat? Ostrich, terrapin, iguana, or spaminal? Ostrich meat is becoming more and more popular in America, and it's considered a red meat. But the thing is, even though it's a red meat, it tastes just like ostrich. Gotcha, okay, coming up. Beef. It's who's for dinner. Okay, we're coming at you. Heads up. If you buy some ground chuck at the market, who will definitely not be tonight's main course? An animated pizza-selling mouse, the first man to break the sound barrier? A space traveler in the 25th century would not be ground chuck, but ground buck. Besides, who's got five centuries to cook these days? Okay, kiddo. Fished in a big one. All right, the category is... Where did you guys meet? Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. At what hot spot would you expect to find the elite meat? At the Yuppie's Choice Cabaret, Cookies Cutter Micro... The elite meat is prime, the highest grade. You know, it's the same principle that makes Sam Donaldson of Primetime Live so out and out sexy. Time that buzz... There was a farming cannibal and flesh is what he ate. Oh, F L E S H, F L E S H, F L E S H, and then he ate my mom. Welcome to Flash. Okay, now remember to buzz in when the first letter of the answer lights up in order to win the cash. Of course, if you light up all five letters, you get the bonus. Okay, let's kick it in. An animal house. Sisters and brothers, siblings or parents. Environmentalism will save you. Yaya. Ask your parent or point guardian. Legal guardian. One more letter for the bonus. This blank is your blank. 
got the bonus. There you is, and here we go. Socks make it. Okay, that'll be our value, and the category is. Great with wine. Just drink a lot of it first. Okay, I'm going to recite a recipe, and you have to tell me the name of the artist we're making. Ready? One pound of ground Marvin a day, one pound of bulk Jim Steinman, one... Meatloaf was born Marvin a day, and one of his most popular albums, Bad Outta Hell, was co-written by Jim Steinman shortly after Meatloaf appeared in the film version of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And in the Rocky Horror Picture Show, he does get served up later for dinner, sprinkled with a little Tim Curry. Buzz in for the... There's the cash, and here's the category. Would you like your pigskin stuffed? Okay, I want you to imagine if all the teams in the NFL were actually companies that did something related to their team name. Like the Steelers actually rolled steel, the Jets ran an airline, that sort of thing. If the Green Bay Packers were actual American meat packers, which of the following would be true? They'd be the NFL's highest paid team, they'd be the NFL's only mid- Oh! That's it, I'm taking up something safe, like pro football. Of all U.S. industry workers, meat packers have the highest illness and injury rate. But, I mean, the glamour totally makes up for it. Okay, ouch. Uh, well, at least you found your buzzer, that's something. All right, here's what we're doing. Free giblets with your subscription. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Given the term that describes animal organs such as livers, kidneys, and variety. Yeah, because leftover meaty bits of a butchered animal are indeed called the variety meats. And the magazine's headline would be Putrid Pig Parts Make Parker Posey Puke at Party. But, but, okay, um, and the category for this one will be Free Order of Fries with Each Government Job. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. Where would you be able to order a nice, juicy Warren burger? The Capitol Hill Deli, the White House Cafe, the Supreme Court Bar and Grill, or the Pentagon Food Court? <laughs> Chief Justice Warren Burger served on the Supreme Court from 1969 to 1986. And you know what? After 17 years, the guy got pretty tired of jokes about his sesame seed bones. Hey, buzzin'. Hosanna Pi Rivet Master. What the hell is that about? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We are still doing... We were doing these stupid questions in volume one. These are the dumbest... You can't... They don't even rhyme. I mean, it's ridiculous. And, wh and wh where the hell are we? What, what, what are we, in a cage? What is this? I can't believe Guy actually read any of these things, so I don't know why I'm doing it. All right, the gibberish category for this question is... A seaweed and potatoes kind of guy. Remember, the sooner you buzz in, the more money you'll make. Okay, here we go. Tell me, what does this rhyme with? Clam fur? Sure. Kelp? Durr. And as usual, the punctuation is just there to throw you off. Go for it. Type in your answer. Now, if they could just come out with baloney helper, I'd be all set. Buzz it in, bitch. Thank you. And the category is... Okay, who went wee-wee-wee all over the carpet? Okay, get yourself set. It's time. Given the normal slaughtering age of little piggies, when should you chop off your child's toes and send them to the pork processing plant? When your child is less than a year old, when your child is five years old, when your child reaches... That's right, baby pigs are usually slaughtered when they're six to seven months old for pork processing. Now, you've seen those tiny little sausages in jars, right? Oh, I don't want to ruin anyone's appetite, but watch out for toenails. Talk to me, give me a... Jump change. Nice picking, kid. Um, okay, here's your category. Where do pork rinds fit in? Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. According to the USDA Food Pyramid, which of the following snacks does not count toward your daily meat and proteins intake? This answer has a first name. It's W-R-O-N-G. It has a second name, you know. <laughs> and here's the right answer. According to the USDA, bacon is not a meat. It's a fat. But not to worry. Judging by the age that little piggies are slaughtered, it's just baby fat. Okay. Hello, 
Oh, nice shooting, baby. Here's your category. The devil made me eat it. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Let's say you're a cop and you're investigating the scene of a crime committed by Satan worshippers. What's wrong, Lieutenant? Mm, I just like to get my hands on those healthy eating little bastards. Yeah, Satan is a meat substitute made of wheat gluten, which I'm gonna guess tastes as disgusting as it sounds. Time that buzzer. Okay, hotshot, keep your eyes on the screen. Here's your clue. What you got stuck between those buns? Yeah, it looks a little sticky in there. I, I keep your finger on your buzzer if I were you. Damn, almost perfect. Of course, it's not like you have any friends to brag to. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just found a pork shoulder underneath that tree. Well, ain't you the lucky one? Here at Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm, we grow only the freshest kinds of meat. Hey, Aunt Shannon, I just pulled this leg of lamb out of the dead pile. It's still got wool on it and everything. Looks like someone's getting a new pair of mittens and a full belly. Bring the family and spend the day. Aunt Shannon, I'm going to pick my dinner right out of the cow tank. Which one you going to eat? That one over there with the big rubber band around his horns. He's a big one. Come on down to Aunt Shannon's Meat Pickers Farm right next door to the Agrichem Lab. I hope to meet you soon. This Friday, the Home Entertainment Channel brings you Kathleen.
tickets 